Are you planning on applying for the Saskatchewan Prevention Institute's Youth-Led Community Health Grant? Keep watching to learn more about the importance of youth engagement. The Saskatchewan Prevention Institute believes that there is potential to build capacity among youth in our province to make informed decisions about their health. The Youth-Led Community Health Grant Program requires youth engagement in the development and delivery of all projects, including project planning, implementation, and evaluation. Youth engagement refers to the meaningful participation and sustained involvement of a young person in an activity with a focus outside of themselves. Engaged youth are those who initiate the activity themselves without being persuaded by others, help lead or organize the project, talk to others about the project, participate in the project, advocate enthusiastically on behalf of the organization or project. I think well like participating, but also like to participate you gotta be engaged. So it's just like be into it rather than just being a participant. Things that people do in the community that I become a part of, like for instance, the exhibition. Like usually it's open right now, but like when I go to places like that or I volunteer at places like that or I do something for someone that's that makes me feel like a part of someone's community or life. Being engaged would be, you're listening attentively, uh, not even just with your ears, but like with your heart and with like your soul, I guess. It just, yeah, you're just really paying attention. You want to uh, understand what they're saying and, and why they're saying it as well. Youth have the right to be involved in decisions and programs that affect them. And adolescence is a critical time in development. Meaningful youth engagement can support lifelong skill building in self-confidence, leadership, critical thinking, decision making, and responsibility. When youth are engaged in a positive way with their community, there's a higher likelihood of positive health outcomes. Research has demonstrated a link between youth engagement and health outcomes such as decreased alcohol, cannabis, and hard drug use, and lower rates of sexual activity, teen pregnancy, antisocial behaviors, and mental health concerns. Youth who are positively engaged in their communities have more opportunities to build resiliency, which is the ability to recover from or adapt to adversity. If engaged in a meaningful way, youth should not feel used or disrespected, pressured to do things that they may not feel comfortable with, or be turned off from working with adults in the future. Types of engagement that should be avoided include tokenism, which occurs when youth have no power to influence any decisions and their contributions aren't taken seriously, Manipulation, which happens when youth perspectives are skewed or filtered to suit adult needs. And decoration, which happens when young people are used to make a cause or an organization look better. While these forms of engagement may come from a place of good intention, in reality, they may be harmful to youth. Adult allies help youth get their voices heard through meaningful engagement. For example, adult allies can include teachers, education assistants, guidance counselors, youth programmers, and or addiction service providers. Adult allies acknowledge and push aside any biases that they may have towards youth so that they may enter in a partnership with an open mind. They listen to youth ideas and concerns and believe in their experiences and values. Adult allies move from the traditional adult as mentor role to an adult as partner role. They help youth complete tasks and achieve their goals by offering support in navigating difficult situations and systems, stand up for youth when it is needed, and empower youth to build confidence and take the lead. Adult allies should not impose their judgments or ideas onto youth or the project, but should still provide guidance and share ideas without taking the lead. The aim should be to challenge youth to be their best and provide support through mistakes and setbacks. Adult allies are willing to take risks that are beneficial to moving a project forward and can help youth build confidence with healthy risk-taking. Adult allies should share power and accountability for success and failure. Power can be shared when youth feel their ideas and role in a project are respected and taken seriously. They are included and allowed a chance to lead in decision making and problem solving, and have the opportunity to take action and lead the project. Adult allies support youth to have ownership of a project and to take the project to new levels. They continue to support growth by exposing youth to future possibilities and new ideas and connect youth to people who can help them grow. I've seen this video of Tupac and it talks about being a real model instead of a role model. 
because of you being a role model, then you're just playing a role and you're not being yourself. And that really made me think. And so I'd rather be a real model instead of like showing showing a fake image and being like, this is what we do all the time and this is how we're supposed to act. Um, to be really understanding, um, to be accepting of anything. I guess like a very high spirit. So like high spirited person. Compassion, integrity, kindness, respect. To learn more about youth engagement, check out these great resources. Links to these resources can be found on the website on the next slide. If you have any questions about youth engagement or the youth-led community health grant program, please visit skprevention.ca slash yap slash youth-led community grant or call 306-651-4300 or email info at skprevention.ca. Yeah, just being yourself really.